DIY or Die, Walker Vapor Group LLC, or any of its associates do not condone nor encourage the use of nicotine, vapor products, or any mood-altering substances without the explicit consent of a physician. The content viewable on this channel is strictly for entertainment purposes only and not meant to be seen as informational or educational. Must be 21 years or older to view these materials. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to DIY or Die. Today, a pretty quick video. I want to talk about my sweet iced tea base. So I'm not the biggest fan of tea vapes, which might be weird because I used to drink a lot of tea. Back when I was in like my vegan days, uh, I used to drink tons of just loose leaf, you know, nice, good tea. But over the years, I don't know, I kind of replaced that with coffee and the, the tea world has kind of left me. But after messing around with Flavor's new tea ingredients, black tea, they have uh, Isai tea and there's another tea, I think it's red tea. Um, I wanted to kind of try my hand at another tea recipe and I decided why don't I just make like a good plug and play iced tea base that people can use, that I can use to really kind of mess around with. It'll have a nice tea-like top note. It'll still have like an earthy tea flavor, but it'll be a little bit on the sweeter side. It'll have a little bit more like lemon in there. And um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. It's a really simple recipe. So the first ingredient, which is the main proponent, is TFA's, oh God, is TFA's sweet tea. And I'm using it here at 6%. And, you know, I don't think this is the best flavoring. I don't think it's the best tea flavoring or even the best sweet tea flavoring. Uh, it does pack a little bit of an odd top note. Um, it's not very accurate to a sweet tea in my opinion. Now, when you smell it, it smells exactly like a unsweetened iced tea. Um, but when you use it, you know, there are some other things that are present in there. But that's okay because I'm gonna bend it a little bit with these other ingredients to really turn it into what I want. What I really want out of this is just that really nice sweet tea-like uh, sweetness that comes with it because it does pack a really good sweet tea sort of uh, sweet profile. And it's a little bit of a weaker flavor, I find, so 6% is going to really kind of give us everything that it's got. And then pairing that up with Flavor's black tea, um, this is what's going to create a more natural, loose leaf style tea, more like a homemade tea. I really want some more of that earthy, aromatic tea flavor in there, just to make it a little bit more recognizable in the vape. But I'm only using it at a half a percent, and really I just need a little bit of that, that earthiness, that, that tea top note, to kind of mesh with the TFA sweet tea to create the tea that I want. And then to kind of sweeten it up and to create more of like that iced tea flavor, I'm gonna be using Capella's Juicy Lemon at 3%. Um, and if you wanted more lemon, maybe you wanna do like an Arnold Palmer thing, you know, you can turn this up to as much as you want. But I want it at 3% because this is not really going to give too much of a lemon flavor. It's gonna add a lemon accent, but mainly what it's gonna do is kinda of lift the sweetness in that sweet tea and create more of an iced tea, more of like a commercial tea flavor. With just these two, you can pretty much get away with a good unsweetened iced tea base just, just using these. Um, but if you want a little bit more sweetness and something that's gonna play well with other fruits, say you wanted to do like a peach iced tea or a blueberry iced tea, adding some lemon is really going to help. And then finally, I wanna bring this up and that's uh, some sweetener. I'm gonna be using Flavor Sweetness at a half a percent. Remember, the recipe will be down in the link which will take you over to my website where the full flavor notes for this base will be. But if you want like a sweet tea flavor, if you want like a sweet iced tea flavor, you really do need to use some, some sucralose in there. Flavor Sweetness at a half a percent gives me all the sweetness I need. It makes it more of like that kind of lemonade stand style of iced tea with just a little bit of earthiness. So it, it tastes like someone made a, a fresh batch of loose leaf iced tea, strained it out and then added some sweetener in there or added some sugar in there to sell outside on the corner at five cents to thirsty patrons that kind of walk about. And I can pretty much pair this up with, like I said, any fruit that'll work well with a, with a nice tea. You know, peach iced tea just really comes to mind. You can mix in some vegetal notes to try to turn it more into like a green tea. You know, pretty much any sort of fruit will, will work out in here. Raspberry iced tea works out really well. But it's meant to be really easy and to be plug and play. So play around with, the, with this recipe. Let me see what you guys got. Post your recipes down in the comments. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Also subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And remember to head over to the website to see the full write-up as well as more recipes, podcasts, videos, articles, and more. I'm gonna catch y'all later. Keep mixing. Much love. Peace.